Hello guys, in this video tutorial we'll explain in detail how to add products to the store feature. Go to store feature on creator software. Now let's move to the content section. Click on add product, you'll be redirected to store dashboard. Next comes product tab, here you will see manage product, product attributes, product categories, product filtering, product reviews, and brands. Under manage product you can add, edit, and manage your products the way you want. Before we go ahead and show you the process of adding product to your app, let's discuss other options first. Go to product attributes. From here you can add, add, edit, and manage the product attributes and its variants. Attributes are used to define product features such as color, size, etc. and will be used in search and filters. You can, you can use these attributes to define product variations by using variation toggle. By default, there are two attributes, size and color. If you want, you can edit them or add a new attribute. You can search the attributes by its names or through different filters. Click on add new to add new attribute. Enter attribute name and value. If you want, you can add multiple attribute values, which act as variants from here. You can change the status of the attribute to inactive. If you want to make the attribute mandatory, turn on this toggle. Once enabled, the products having the attribute will be shown in the search. On enabling filterable, the attribute will, will appear in the fil filters. Once you are done, click on save to continue. You will see the attribute has been added. From here, you can set that status of, of the attribute as well as edit or delete it. Next comes product categories. From this section, you can add, edit, manage your product categories. By default, you will see one category. If you want, you can add it or add a new category. Now let's add a new category. Click on add category. Enter category name, default product sorting, select the type of attribute related to the category and add the image. From here, you can change the status of the category and make it filterable. That is, it will appear in the filters allowing users to sort the products. Once you are done, click on save to continue. You will see a new category has been added. On clicking this icon, you will see multiple options like edit that allows you to make changes to the category, inactive that lets you turn your category status to inactive, delete the, that allows to delete the category, products that lets you add products directly to the category, subcategory that allows you to add subcategories to this category. Here we'll add the subcategory. Click on subcategory. Now click create a category. Enter the details here like name, default sorting order, category, attributes, and add the image and click on save to continue. You will see a new subcategory has been created. On clicking this icon, you will see multiple options like edit that allows you to make changes to the category. Inactive that lets you turn your category start status to inactive. Delete that allows to delete the category. Product that lets you add products directly to the category. Rather than adding products from here, we'll go back to manage products section and show you the process of adding the product to your app the easy way. Click on add product. Enter all your details here, such as product name, SQU code, default price. If you want to list this product on sale, turn on this toggle bar. Now provide the discount value and select discount type. If the price of the product doesn't inc include taxes, uncheck this checkbox and select the type of tax related to the product. Select the category of the product. Please note the attributes will be shown to the app users based on your selected category. Give a brief description of the product here. From the cogwheel icon, you can make the text, bold, italics, underline, and much more. From here, you can add images and videos of the product. Click on Upload Media pop-up and Add Image Video Open. Click on Add Image to upload the image from your device or enter the video URL to, the, to add the video of the product. Once done, click on Upload to continue. Next comes Additional Info section. It helps you provide additional specification about the product. Click on Add an Info section. A pop-up will appear. Enter info section title and description, then click on save to continue. You can add multiple info section as per your needs. Click on this pen icon to edit the info section. By clicking on trash icon, you can delete the info section. In product attributes sections, you will see all 
of your added attributes with their variations. Choose all that you want to add to this product. All your selected attributes and, and variations will be shown to the app users. If you want, you can turn off the variations from here. Once the variation is turned off, only the attributes will be shown in search and filters. If you want, you can also create vari variations from here. Click on create variations, provide necessary information and click on save to continue. Under manage variants, you will see all the possible combinations of your selected attribute variants. You can manage all of them from here. You can set the variant price as per your needs. From here, you can change the price. The inventory, Inventory option allows you to set the availability of the product. You will see a combination of your selected variants is set default. If you want, you can continue with it or change it as per your requirements. With the visibility option, you can show the products to you to your users or keep them hidden. If you have all the products in the inventory, you can turn on this toggle and set the number of products available in the inventory. From here, you can add custom fields. It allows you to Specify additional information about the product. Click on Add Custom Fields. Two fields will appear, Custom Field Name and Custom Field Value. Enter necessary details to add the info into the product. From here, you can delete the custom fields. Next comes Inventory section. You will see two options, Track Inventory and Log Stock Reminder. If you want to keep track of your inventory, turn on the Track Inventory toggle and add the number of products present in the inventory. If you want to get notified when the stock runs low, enable low stock reminder and then specify the low reminder stock. Under shipping details, enter the shipping price. If you want to provide shipping with the product, tick mark this checkbox. In product dimension section, enter the length, width, height, and weight of the product. Next comes cancellation and return. By default, both of them are disabled. If you want, you can enable it as per your needs. On enabling the cancellation allow option, you will see multiple fields such as which step the user can cancel the order, cancellation fee, discount type, and cancellation policy. Enter relevant information. Similar in return allow, you need to provide specific information such as how many days is return allow, up and upload return policy, if any. Once you are done, click on save to continue. The product will appear on the dashboard. Here you can see a few details of the product such as image, product SQU, stock level, product name, status, and price. From here, you can search the product the way they like. On clicking this icon, you will see three options, edit, inactive, and delete. The edit option allows you to make changes to your product. With the inactive option, you can change the status of the product to inactive whether the product is out of stock. And the delete option lets you to delete the product listing. You can even sort out the products using some of the filters like future, out of stock, on sale, cancellation allow, and return allow. Next up, product filtering. Here you will see all the product filter filters being shown in the store future. If you want, you can enable or disable the filter filters as per your needs and also control the filter elements by clicking on the edit option here. Here you can change the display name and set the category filters based on the attributes and variants. Once you are done, click on save to continue. From here, you can enable or disable product filtering. Now comes product review section. Here you can manage all your product reviews. In brand section, you can add the brand you want. Click on add brand, enter brand name, and hit save to continue. You will see the brand has been added here. You can even check the number of products present under this brand. Click here to edit or delete the brand. To add multiple brands, click on add brand. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.